it's our time. We are live, box. All right. No, we must act like professionals here. All right, because we're definitely not professional. No, we're not. All right, what's? Well, the time. Yeah, I know. It's been on a, like a two-week hi hiatus here. Uh, what's up, everyone? All the nonsense. What's up, everybody? Anime Talk with Old Dish, episode 22. What's up? What's up? It's 22 already. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's 22, man. 22. And I, I've been off for two weeks. Uh, the reason why I've been off for two weeks is just I've been addicted to video games, I guess. That's... You got a problem. Yeah, I'm not watching too much anime. Watching, like, a decent amount, but not a whole lot. So, and... I've been watching all the animes. Yeah, but like with the new shows, like like My Hero, not too much is going on right now. You know what I mean? It's not, uh, like, let's talk about My Hero. Because I don't think, I talked about episode one, which I, this pretty much all recap. I mean, at least half of it. Um, but episode two w was decent. It got really dark. Kind of surprised me how dark episode two got. Just for My Hero. Oh, just for the one guy showed up with a weird, like, bird mask on. Yeah, pretty much like if they had a tag match. I'm just Maybe a death tag match. The, the, the Michael Bay. Yeah, yeah. Just touches someone and just Michael Bay happens. You just explode. Yeah. It's like, what, what the hell is that? <laughs> well, I'm just thinking between the two, like, villain leaders. is like, can you imagine if they had a tag match? Yeah. Pretty much what it is. Like, who touches who first? So... Except for I think uh, the other guy is a little bit better because it explode. Yeah. But still. Yeah, the one dude with weird hands on his body just like deteriorates you. Yeah, you might survive that one. You might just like lose an arm. So the exploding guy's got it better. Uh, and then episode three of My Hero. Uh, spoilers, anyways. If you guys, <laughs> uh, you guys should know if you guys have been listening to the show. We just talk about certain animes, and there will be a lot of spoilers today because we're gonna really dive into. Uh, I think Doctor Stone and Villain Saga will be the big ones tonight, or we really dive into because I don't think I've talked about the last two or three episodes. And there's a lot going on for both of them. Uh, and then my heroes. The the third episode was uh, the teacher, right? Or the my heroes or the all mites. Of all mites, old yeah. Psychic. Yeah, which was wasn't bad. I don't know. Um, Except for the everyone is having an outrage because of the whole uh, bubble girl incident. Bubble girl incident. Uh, you know. The tickle machine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're being all ah, sensitive. Sensitive, huh? Sensitive. Because she was getting tickled. She strapped down. Yeah. I think that was just for comedy relief. Come on now. Probably. Calm down, people. Calm down. I, I, my only question is, what is her quirk? Does she just make bubbles? Like, just I shoot bubbles from my head. Because here's the thing. I can see, like, later on in the episode where, like, Deku's on the tickling machine. All right, and then are you going to outrage because he's on there? Come on now. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. That's just a little silly. Um, but I don't know. I mean, the guy seems interesting. He seems really smart. Um, I I I kind of already figured this was gonna happen because there's gonna. I mean, he had to team up with what's his face. Um, the hell's his name? That's with the M, right? Number one hero guy. Who's the number one hero guy in the uh, uh, the school there? The guy who can go through walls and shit. I can never remember his name. I forget. I imagine we'll know his name because of the season, but I kind of figured that they would like team up or whatever, like some way, somehow. So uh, we found out that this is the way they're going to do it, um, which I'm kind of excited to see. I really want to see him like fight, like just like villains and stuff like that. And uh, But my biggest curiosity so far on My Hero is who's this little girl that they show in the intro? Yeah, um, cause they showed her like what's gonna happen next ep or episode four. Yeah, and I'm kind of curious who this girl is. I imagine she is someone that either is one important to one of them, or she like gives quirks or something. Maybe I mean she's gotta be important for some reason, and because 
watch the intro, it seems like that she's gonna be like the main focus, and like this is gonna be probably like Deku's mission to go save her. Would be my guess. I could be completely wrong, but I'm guessing it's something like that. So she's just plot for some other plot to have more plot. Well, she's either important to somebody or she has a really important quirk. One of the two. So I'm gonna go with the important quirk. Yeah. She doesn't know how to control. So I'm wondering just how like Deku would run into her, and I'd be like, "Oh, we have to save this girl." You know what I mean? Unless she like tells them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, but I don't know. I, I, I really hope this is a long arc for my hero. That's like my wish list right now for my hero. I is hope this is not like a five episode arc. Cause that's pretty much what you get out of my hero. There hasn't been like a true like long, I don't know, twenty episode arc, I would say. So uh I would like that's my that's my wish list, at least for me. I don't know about box here, but for me I would like to see I just want the a long arc. Continue. That's all I want. Yeah, I'm just saying that's the only thing because we've had like a lot of small arcs, and I'd like to see a big one. So hopefully this season will uh, give that. Hopefully, um, I I, I don't want to see more training. <laughs> what you don't like the training montages? Oh uh, no. No, there's gonna be more of those. You, you, you I I don't mind a few, but it's we're past like montage. 50 episodes now, and I'm like okay. We can chill on those, all right? We can chill on those. Nice. Uh, stronger. Yeah. I, I, okay, use a little time skip there. I'll be happy with that. <laughs> you can do less training. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, I am enjoying My Hero. I want it to, like, ramp it up, which I imagine we will get. Um, but, yeah, I, anything else for My Hero? I mean, I don't We. Didn't get an episode this week, uh, so. I mean, things are going to happen. Yeah, things are going to happen, and. Plot is thickening. Everyone's going to die. Um, That's true. Yep. Everyone. Uh, but yeah, so my hero, I'm enjoying it. I just want to see things ramp up here and uh, get a long arc. That's what, that's the wish list there. Um. All right, let's switch it to what else? What else you've been watching? It's the same, like. Uh, You're just doing the same shows. Well, no, I've been watching uh, Food Wars. But oh, I okay. Watch any of that. No, not season four. I haven't watched season three yet, so. I rewatched I... season three and I forgot they they were doing something. Oh, okay. Which involves the main characters. Don't tell me. And yeah, it involves main characters and like one other character. Yeah. That you've already met. So yeah, uh, I would love to watch Food Wars. I just haven't I watched it yet. Pick back up because I actually enjoy the show. Yeah, actually, no, it's a really good show. And it makes you hungry. Very enjoyable. What's the point of it? Very enjoyable. I, 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 I was afraid that it was going to be just the, uh, um, what's that type of anime? Um, harem. Totally thought I was going to be like purely like focused oh, on that. Wonder. Orgasms when they, when yeah, because that's the only thing I heard about the show, really. And yeah, I was that, like, that hap- Yeah, that, that is a thing that happens in Food Wars. That, that no, I know, but often. like that, I was like, Oh, is that gonna be the whole show? I like, I don't know if I want to watch that, this. That is a great portion of like season one and two, maybe a little bit in three. Uh, season one, but they kind of died down on the whole food orgasm. Like, it's not like, uh, I feel like it's not as pushed. Um, uh, but I don't. I don't know. It, it, overall, it's a good show. It's really good. I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah, that's really what I've been watching. Other besides, you know, Vinland Saga, Doctor Stone, One Piece, and Fire Force. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't watched Fire Force either. It's okay. I just want to make sure what else like we've been watching. I, I've I'm trying to think of like any other ones that, uh, of course, all the week we was, well we watched Ruby. We can talk about Ruby. But uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't think so. Like I, I need to. I'm trying to like. New Zoid show, but oh yeah, how's that? Yeah. How's the New Zoids? I don't remember what it's called. It's like Zoids new something. Oh, okay. Um, but have you have you watched one episode or are you like watching it week by week or no? Box. I don't. I'm trying to figure what it's called. Oh, I was gonna say, have you watched any episodes or no? Uh, not really. 
Oh, okay. I thought you were watching it. Uh, I need I need to just focus like more on watching like one show and just finishing it because I've been kind of jumping around lately. I've been watching like Radiant, which I I do like Radiant. Uh, a little slow at the beginning. Um, I've been watching Dub, and I not the biggest fan of the main voice Dub guy. The other ones are good, but I don't know about him. Um, so sorry if you're the voice actor, you know. But uh, I don't know. I just doesn't. Yeah. I feel like it just doesn't fit for me. But uh, enjoying that one. I only watched like I think I'm like up to episode seven. I still haven't finished Gate. Slacking on that. Um, but Gate Gate's like I don't know. Like, I've said this multiple times. It's okay. I just I don't know. Like, I'm thinking about going back to Sao and catching up on Sao. So because I've been kind of in the RPG mode and. I was enjoying. I don't know what the hell is going on in Sao? I, I, I stopped after season two. Season three is pretty good so far. I watched fourteen episodes of it, and I I'm enjoying it. There's a lot of information though at the beginning, and then it gets better like slowly through time. And it got, it got really dark. Yeah, it got really dark too. Um, but I might I might jump back on that and catch up, and then. And I'll work on maybe go back to Radiant. I don't, I don't really know yet. I guess it's just whatever it's feeling. Uh, there's a lot of other shows I want to watch too. There's that Sherlock I'm Holmes one. Through Zoids, like Wild Zero, as it's called, mm -hmm. but it does not look that interesting. No. I will just stick with Zoids. You know, Century, the original one. <laughs> Played safe. Um. Well, the first like two seasons are good, and after that, it just gets confusing. Yeah. Um. And the whole kid one, which is weird. I don't know, dude. I've only watched the original. Same. Um, but yeah, so f I'm kind of like all over the place, just like anime that's not week by week. So I'm just gonna, I need to like sit down and just like watch one, finish it. Just I'll go over to Oldish House and just have anime night. <laughs> Got a lot of watch it, but I, uh, the problem is I've been playing a lot of games. Like all my free time has been playing video games. Games so. and work. Well, there's just so much hype around video games right now, like uh, stuff coming out and BlizzCon happened, so I'm all, all nah. dove into that. Even though I'm not super excited about it, but like, I don't know. At the time, I was like, I wanted, I wanted to know. But anyways, this is an anime podcast, so we're gonna talk about that shit. <laughs> um, so let's talk about Ruby before we dive into these other two. Oh, what's your impressions, Ruby? Ten minutes, you know. Small episodes. I, I'm, I'm spoilers. To... Spoilers, by the way. Yeah, spoilers, by the way. You, you got your warning, and you got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. I'm still getting used to the actor playing, you know, the new guy playing Crow, but he's close enough. Yeah, he's actually pretty good, because usually they could, like, butcher uh, it pretty bad. I already fucking predicted way back in season three that they were just going to grab uh, Penny's core and just remake her again. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, like I'm just like, I'm. Just, they're gonna fucking remake her. She's not technically dead. Yeah. Um, uh, it doesn't surprise me because she was pretty much a you know machine. So she's a robot with just human. Cool. Close to human person or as they can get. Yeah, cool to see her back. Uh, kind of like the new look too. Uh, there's a chance Neo's coming back. Neo is the pink and brown haired girl with the umbrella. Oh, okay. She's a machine too, right? No. No, she's not. She's, she's just something like a dog. I thought she was back though. Last well, I season. Mean, they're gonna bring her like yeah, but she's coming back again and doing some more shenanigans. Uh yeah, 'cause she's working with uh what's her face there? Cinder. Cinder. Um but yeah, I definitely I mean it's crazy what they could do with the action in Ruby. Well, yeah, they... they the fight scenes are just, ridiculous. Well, it's not just Monty doing the fighting scenes anymore. They have, like, a whole cast dedicated to the animation and stuff now. Dude, it's, like, so cool. I don't know. It's a really cool part of Robot Ruby. Just, like, um, a full out in the fights. Like, if you go back to, like, season one and you watch their feet, it's, like, really poorly animated for, like, how the feet look on the ground sometimes. Yeah. Then you go to this season and just everything is kind of normal. Yeah. It, well, it's crazy how far they've come. Like, what, well, season they, seven? So that's seven years ago. Yeah. 
Well, like, I, they're mostly just continuing because it, it was Monty's baby. Yeah. And it's quite popular thing on their site right now besides other, like, minor Would you do. consider that this would be the number one show? Uh, no, I'd still say this. You still think Red vs. Blue? Red vs. Blue is still got it by, like, at least 1% or 2%. Oh, man, I feel like Ruby's passing it up, though. Well, I mean, you don't see too much Red vs. Guess... Blue anymore. Maybe if Halo was, like, still, like, really big, it would be, but I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. I stopped after season 10, which is I... the last season Monty worked on. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I, I really like Ruby. I want to see I where they're going to go with it. The, you know, on their site, because I just kind of watch it on YouTube. Yeah. I want to know what this weird ending song you've been telling me about. Yeah, dude, you got to watch it. You haven't seen it yet? No, I mean, I've seen the episode, but I didn't hear the ending song. Oh. Because it, well, it just really gave me, like... The ending song is... Just, just, pretty much the new intro i think it's just like they didn't play it at the beginning they played it at the end oh so i imagine it's the intro um but you'll see it in episode two will be it will be the intro song well, i mean it'll be episode one for me because i'll have to wait like another week after that yeah um okay, i forgot I have, a, I have a friend's verb account i could just watch it on there there you go there you go oh wait i don't know they're locking because they changed it not too long ago from what they told me yeah. Um yeah, that that was really interesting. Um So what do you think about the whole like little like new weapon all well, new like clothing they're getting? New clothing, new haircuts. Yeah, their new looks and all that. Yeah. Well, Yang had like fiery hair. I was telling you about John just was... got finally got that spiky anime hair. Yeah, he's got the the, the spiky anime hair. Uh Blake's got really short hair. I don't know if I like that. I think I like her with longer I hair like more. What they do with, uh, what's his name? Ruby looks a lot cooler. I like Ruby's. I can't even remember his name. What? The dude with the two like little guns. Oh, I don't remember his name either. I don't know what you're talking about. The two pistol gun blade dude. Uh Ruby looks cool. What is this nonsense? This is anime. What's up, Bullet? Um, no, I, li I like Ruby's look, and I like Yang uh, looks pretty I cool, too. Big, big brain dum-dum. His name is Ren. Goddamn. Um, I'm trying to think now. Blake, Ruby. White Weiss is saying Weiss, too bad. Yeah, like weird, like, sister hair going. Yeah. Oh, we're talking uh, about the show Ruby Bullets. I'm doing yeah, pretty good, man. The animation show by Rooster Teeth. Yeah, that's the Rooster Teeth's uh, um, show there that we're talking about. Just came out season seven. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm really curious to see if it's a time skip or they're just getting new looks because maybe I they're. I think they're getting new looks because they've been in. Uh... Well, maybe they're getting new looks because they're in Atlas and they're like, yeah, we got to look different. Atlas and then. There's gonna be some shenanigans with Ironwood they, and then probably her folks or well, her sister. But they they look different though. Like they look older. I just said they look different. Yeah, of course they look different. They look older, if that's what I'm trying to say. Um Oh Bolts is still on Seven Deadly Sins. I've watched actually episode one of Seven Deadly Sins. And I actually should talk about that, but we'll wait after done with Ruby, because I'm nervous about Seven Deadly Sins. Um but yeah, I don't know. I like, is it going to be a time skip or not? Because they do look older. I don't know if it's just because their hair looks way different and their clothing and shit, but like, they look older to me than. Oh, it seems like every like new season, like they just get a new outfit. Because no, no, that ain't true. This is like way different. This is like way, way, way different. Uh, what's with the anxiety? Oh, I have seven deadly sins. I'll tell you here in a little bit. Um. I've seen the new seasons of Seven Deadly. I only watched episode one. Uh, I gotta catch up to it. But yeah, I'm excited for Ruby. I want to see where this one goes. Um, hopefully, I mean they got captured by Atlas, so we'll see what happens there. And they took the artifact too, so that's not good. I imagine. Uh, you are like way behind. Oh, and Seven Deadly Sins? Oh, I'm only one. No, I'm on episode one of season three. Or, 
Yeah, the newest the newest season that just has like four episodes out. I watched season one, season two. They say there's three seasons out, but that's not the truth. Third season, so yeah. Um, but anyways, I don't know. We'll see what happens in Atlas. I guess I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, it's the first episode. Yeah, People there's not too much we can talk about. In, you know, causing shenanigans. What new cosplays? Just saying. You ever think like Osmond's gonna like start autopiloting Oscar more? Or is he just gonna keep being in the back of his mind? No, I imagine he's, Oz is gonna come up more. I feel like he has to, Probably, but he's he to everyone with, uh, portrayed with him, so I, he's still an important piece of the puzzle. Well, yeah, because you know Osmond can't die; he just yeah, soul just keeps on someone else. Yeah, soul bound. He just eventually takes over. Yeah. So, what kind of anime is Ruby? Um. It's like an action ish drama. Action adventure drama. Something like that. Anime? I don't know if you call it even anime. It's kind of like a CGI ish. It's like a different they have a whole uh thing on their site on roosterteeth.com. You can just watch the entire season of one of the entire you know, one of the, the Demon superpowers seasons. or what? They're kind of like demon hunters, if you want to say. That's kind of there kind of a definition. And huntresses that fight things known as grim, which are just like yeah, grim, grim. shadowy animals. Yeah, that's and they why get I, paid the monies for it. That's why I'm kind of saying it's kind of like a demon hunter in a way. Um, there's like a school that they go to the train to be become hunters. Yes, uh, I recommend the show, but you have to power through season one, season two. But they're only like ten to fifteen minute episodes. So you you can like fly through it, but when you get to season three is when I like like fell in love with the show. So I Japanese have... version of Grimm. Yes, but it's actually not Japanese. It's actually it's popular uh, over there. They considered it, uh, you know. Yeah, like but it's there. it's made over here. Like it's, it's made here, but like it's big over in Japan because of the animation style. Yeah. I being the nerd I am have like all the volumes and like all the manga they have for it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if you have you have you ever watched Red vs. Blue uh, bullets by any chance? Have you ever seen that? That was their first big thing until uh, Monty came up with the idea of Ruby, which is still a funny story of how he came oh, up with that. Yeah. I was gonna say if you if you've heard about Red vs. Blue, it's the same company that makes. Yeah. Um. But anyways, they're like an American how do you animation. Not know Red vs. Blue. What is wrong? Or Ruby? Well, not everyone knows. Red versus blue man. I'm telling you. Well, I mean, you should if you were big in Halo, like Halo times, then yeah, you might have. But like, eh, watch some OPM DBZ Avatar Last Airbender. Okay. I uh, will watch Man DBZ. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um. Yeah, I would recommend it. Like I said, you gotta get through the first two seasons, in my opinion. Um. And I, I feel like after season three, because like season three shit goes down. And it's kind of like the setup of like what they got to do and stuff like that when season three happens. Um, but yeah, anyways, I got nothing else on Ruby. Just excited it's here finally. A little bit yeah, later start. It's not, not, usually it starts in October, but it started early November. So I find that funny because like if you go to their site underneath the series section, you can find Ruby complete as it is. You yeah. can watch the entire first season, which would be an hour and 54 minutes. Yeah. Then it it's goes like to a volume movie. two. And then volume three is in two parts. Volume four is in two parts. And volume five is in two parts. Uh, I don't have volume six up here yet. Hmm. Um, I think they're still working on it because six was like the longest one. Uh, all right. But yeah, they're each like an hour long. So it's cool how they're doing that. We can just, just I'm going to watch an entire volume. All right. <sighs> So, I'm going to talk about Seven Deadly Sins real quick. No, I'm not spoiling anything. That's the, the best character fight me. This, this is what scares me about Seven Deadly Sins. I don't know because I only watched one episode. I know it's a new studio that's, uh, that's making Seven Deadly Sins Season 3. Alright, so when I watched the first episode, they changed the demon blood to white. Right? I don't know why they changed in the demon blood to white, or just blood in general. I don't know. That's what I've been hearing. And then they blocked... Okay, this might be spoiler. 
Actually, it is a spoiler. I can't probably talk about it. That they they, they blocked a certain and it, something that happened in season two. Um, one of like the big things happened. They blocked like what happened to him. Um, I'll just say there's like a bunch of swords and stuff, and yeah, they blocked like I don't know. They did like a little block. Go ahead. I don't care. I will still watch it. Oh, I'm still gonna watch it too. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm scared about it is I don't know if they're trying to make it like kid approve or something i don't i don't know like i watched episode one of season three and every time they were killing like demons it was white blood and like yeah it's like pretty much like kids safe. yeah i don't know why though and i'm really nervous about it if it stays this way um because like season one season two especially season two was really gory and if they cut down on that, I don't know why. I'll be very mad. I will still watch the series. But I'm really nervous about it. Really, really nervous about it. So it has, like, the characters and everything. That's all good. Characters are cool, everything. But I don't know. I don't know if they're, like, like, like oh, we're censoring all this stuff now. I'm like, it doesn't make any sense, though, if they do. It's because if anyone wants to get into Seven Deadly Sins, Season 1, Season 2, you have to watch. And that's freaking gory. Why would all of a sudden you go in Season 3, like, oh, now we're going to, like, censor it. Don't make no freaking sense at all. Like, I I, I understand if you did in Season 1. Yeah, I see, understand. This is how the show is supposed to be. Yeah, I understand, like, if you did it at the beginning, like, that's a choice. For the, but when you do it in Season 3, like, what the fuck? What are you doing? to go to the whole sensor anyway if you think about it if anyone wanted to watch the show they're like oh i'm gonna watch the show your season one oh this is gory you have the season three and you're just like what the hell is this <laughs> that's how that's how i feel about it i don't know i watched one episode i'm gonna see if it continues maybe it's just an episode hopefully i'm doubting it because um i, I couldn't imagine why would they do it i just like even the first episode, why um, so I'm really, really, really nervous about the show. Um, let me see. Season. It's got to be season three. I, like, it, I don't count that three episode. Um, whatever. I kind of want to see if... Uh, I can like, look on Twitter to see if uh, things are... Uh, or people are talking about it, you know. I don't I don't know. Um But anyways, that's just all I wanted to say. I was a little worried about it. Uh, let's see. Uh I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see. I don't know. I'm not seeing too much. I'm just looking on uh, Twitter here. So hopefully maybe they, they don't like switch it up too much. But I'm I'm a little bit nervous about that. So. Not seeing too much. Uh, but anyways. Let's get back in track here. Let's go to our next show. I'm going to talk about Dr. Stone I think. Next. And we'll save Vinland for the last uh, bit here. To end it off strong you know. All right. What's your what's your impressions of Doctor Stone these last couple episodes, man? How do you feel about Dado? Oh, spoilers, by the way. Again, I don't know why I keep saying that. Fuck it, we're we're, we're spoiling stuff though. <laughs> so, how do you think? Uh, how, how do you feel about Senku's dad? The whole spiel. I'm talking about like the last like two well, episodes, last, uh, three well, episodes. First, he said they weren't related. Like blood yes, it's not real dad, but let's be honest, it's the dad he grew up with, pretty much. So. Which he was young, I guess. No, he was older. No, he grew up with him. He grew up with him. Never mind, because he, when he turned a statue. Uh, that he went up to space while the whole stone thing happened. I I was totally wrong. I thought, I thought his dad would have went and found Senku. That's what I thought he was going to do when he went back um to earth i thought he was going to go to senku and try to revive him 
but completely wrong on that, and it went completely a different direction. Well, um, more of, uh, everyone started getting the illness that the one girl had. Yep. And uh, they usually did not have the right materials to solve that problem. Yeah, pneumonia, I think, was yeah. killing them. Uh, but I I liked how like it linked up because I was like, okay, how does this girl, the village girl, know Sanku? And I'm like, holy shit, like this crazy ass, like, like his dad even said, like, this was his, like, science experiment. Like, he's sending these people kind of to, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about, but, like, to Senku if he, because he said, oh, Senku's the only one that could fix this. So, uh, just crazy, man. Like, I felt really bad because, like, I feel like Senku was still, like, really attached um, to his dad, not his real dad, but, um, because his dream was to go to space, and it's kind of ironic that Senku's dream is also go go to space. So I, I think that's why he was like crying when uh, he found out, which was sad, man. It was sad. It was depressing, dude. Well, I found out his pappy was the one that started the village. Yep. So yeah, so that's, uh, that was pretty sad. Well, it's just like I knew I was like, oh shit, his dad or his dad ain't alive because. He was up in space when the whole world turned to stone. I was like, and three three thousand years went by. I was like, nah, there ain't no way he he's lived through that. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, very good. And then we the last episode we got uh, we got the Stone Wars going on now. Oh yeah, where they they made katanas. And yeah, they dude, they went they went sword the, age. The old guy got. So excited to make it. Yeah, dude, the old guy's ridiculous. I, I love the old guy, man. He's too, he's just really funny. Especially the part where, like, he, they were making, like, carbonated water. And uh, yeah. he's like, oh, I need you to stay by me. He's like, ah, do I have to really stay by the old guy? And then he flexes. He's like, oh, shit. The old guy's just ripped. Um... But yeah, I mean, we got the we kind of see what the second in command for the muscle dude uh, squad, I guess. I don't know what you want to call him. What are they calling him in the the other uh, faction, if you'd say? Because he says theirs is the science kingdom. And what was what, what it? Did he say it was the muscular kingdom? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember what uh, Sinku called I, him. I don't remember. But uh, caveman. Yeah, Spear Boy. But now they lost their spy, though. At least their double edged spy. But I, ma I can't imagine that they're going to. The last episode, he just like, oh, so you're the one who's been giving them information about. Yeah, well, he didn't die, but I'd say, like, he knows now that he gave the info. So. Which I meant. It's all he wanted. That's all he wanted, yo. That was a deal, deal. Um. But yeah, I imagine... I don't know. Is this guy going to sneak away? Or... What's this guy going to do, yo? The okay. spear boy. I, met, I mean, they're not going to want him to get, let him go. Because he obviously go tell, hey... Senku's alive, yo. And... Yeah. They well, you know that now. The, the <laughs> weird dude with the spinny bamboo tactic. Yeah, but he didn't get... He didn't go away, right? If I remember. No. No, it's more of they just his spear broke because he's spinning it so goddamn quickly. No, no, because the one guy broke it. Uh, the the cola guy. God, we're terrible with names. Um, yeah, cola guy. <laughs> he's just gonna be Coca Cola guy. Yeah. Uh, no, he he but broke he it. Tied it. Yeah, he like snapped it. So when it went and it it broke. So which they're gonna keep him a prisoner. But if you keep him and he doesn't come back, I imagine his one face is going to show up anyways. So either way, they're screwed. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Tar Tarzan boy is going to show up. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, he's got to make gu guns. He has to. It's the only way. You know, pop gun he quickly made. Well, yeah, he fooled that, but like he, in the beginning of the early episodes, he made a crossbow, shot him at the crossbow, but he caught it. So he was testing out, like, what do I have to do to beat this guy? Uh, what's the point of being indestructible? 
If you have regular weapons. Oh, we're to, have you watched Dr. Stone at all? <laughs> so yeah, he need he needs he needs guns to be able to beat this guy. No, oh, okay, yeah, we're talking about Dr. Stone and uh it's honestly like if you ever played like Civilization or something like that, like that kind of strategy game or like Total War, where like pretty much what the show is about is the world turned into stone, and there's this guy and the main guy in the anime. He's like a super like smart dude. He's all about science and stuff, and he's trying to bring back civilization to modern times. So like he's like, but like certain situations are happening. There's like another guy they revived. Which he has like a way different philosophy than what the main science dude has, and they're kind of like colliding, you know. So he's all about like science, bringing the modern age. Where the other guy's like, no, I want only like young people to live because old people are corrupted, and you know they're very tainted, and he doesn't want it to go back to what modern age was, kind of thing. So that's the whole conflict. If you watch the show, it's a really good show. Honestly, it's one of the better shows of this year for sure. I like it a lot. Uh, it's it's a show I've like never. It's an anime that I've never really seen. Like it's on its own style. Uh, this one, Doctor Stone, is a Japanese manga series written by Richirio Inagi. I I don't know. I don't know the manga wise, but uh, Doctor Stone is really good. It's really good. So we're just talking about the latest episode and like what's going to happen with. Uh, the stone wars, I guess, because they're they're at the war part now. Like the only way they're gonna beat them is guns, and I don't know. I imagine Senku's gonna be able to make one, maybe like a gunpowder rifle. But he still has he's to hit the make like a mu a musket rifle. But he still has to hit the target though, and that guy's not gonna be an easy target. Because if you miss with the musket, man, you it takes like five minutes to reload. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, even if it took a minute, though, he's still at a disadvantage. Sure. Against this ridiculous guy that punched, like, three lions. <laughs> I'm just trying to find it. Uh, Molenta? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, he's, like, the strongest guy in the world right now. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, like I said, he needs a gun, and then he needs to find a way to... Like, 1v1 him in a way? I don't know. I don't know, because, like, he's going to... Otherwise, people are going to die. Because he has no problem killing him. Nah, uh, that is One Punch Man. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah. Oh, my God, though. Me and my wife, though, were laughing her ass off, though. When uh, that spear boy... When that spear boy uh, got stabbed on the bridge there... But when Senku was like healing him up, he was throwing that stuff on him. <laughs> He's like, "You'll be fine by tomorrow." He's just fucking whipping that shit on him. I was like, "Oh god!" He's like, "Ah!" Oh. Senku is just ridiculous, though. It's so funny. Hey, what's up, Brizzle? Vinland Saga. Yeah, we're gonna talk Vinland Saga here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, God, it's so funny. We're talking about Doctor Stone right now. What's we're thinking like how how is how is he going to beat uh Tarzan? We're calling the guy Tarzan. Uh I don't know cuz when dude can really grab a cross, you know, a, a crossbow bolt out of the air and just like, yeah. Yeah. It happened. Well, see that's what I said. He has to make guns, but I don't think he's going to make like a fully automatic or tear gas. Tear gas could work. But this guy like one, he needs to hit the target, right? This guy's not going to be an easy target. He's Tarzan, the guy that punches like three lions. He's super fast, super strong. Um, so he's got to like trap him, I feel like. And like, I don't know. Um, tear gas could? Or like a sleep powder? Maybe. But they still have to hit him, you know? He's not going to be an easy target. And he's got an army. So there's going to definitely be, he'll bring his whole army. I mean, I, may, I imagine Senko's going to find a way. I'm just like wondering, what is he going to do? I'm not, I'm not smart, so I'd, I would die if I was in this situation. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, like such a kind of invincible character in that world, at least. I was thinking the same thing, yeah. 
because um, he's like, yeah, you can make a gun, but I don't know if he, he's not going to be able to make it like a f fully automatic. I mean, maybe he will. If he had a fully automatic weapon, then yeah, I think he could easily beat him. But I don't think he's going to get that far. I think that would take way too much time, and I, I, he doesn't have that much time. So I was thinking like gunpowder, like rifle or gunpowder pistol or something. Like a pistol, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, it's it's tough to say. Because, like I said, even with a bow or anything, he, he catches it, so. Crossbow. <sighs> Catapult, there we go. They could do explosions. They need TNT, man. Dynamite. Throw boulders at him? Maybe. He's got to get him in, like, in a solo situation and, like, trap him and then be able to make it easy. But I still think it'd be pretty tough. But my question is, is, like, how is not one villager going to not die? I met, met, maybe Senku, like, moves him or something. And he just has his main squad with him. And then they, like, use the village as, um, like, a trap place. Because there's no way... Like, Senku's going to let them die. I, I just don't feel like... I mean, unless Dr. Son, like, takes a turn, but I, I just don't... Maybe one person will die out of this battle. I can see that. Maybe oh, Blondie. That I said almost died. <laughs> well, I know. There's been two cases where people have almost died. I, I don't know. I mean, Dr. Stone could turn that way, but... I don't know. That's hard to say. That's hard to say. I'm not sure. Um, I, I can see maybe one person dying in this battle. I feel like one person will, but I don't know if that is going to be that kind of anime. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, there's been three, technically, of people almost dead. Let's be real. Senku, well, Senku technically. <laughs> um, Versus Tarzan Boy the first time. But yeah, I don't know. We shall see. Because Senko. Yes, we shall see. Uh, Anything else on Dr. Stone? I don't, I don't think anything else I can think of. Mm, nope. Just waiting for next Why week. Why is it like every old guy in anime is just buff as hell? Dude, that's, that's it's old, old man's strength. That's what it is, man. Just, I've been doing glasswork for 50 years. It's just like... <laughs> Respect your elders. Um, but yeah. It's like the old man when the, the battle has just like, aren't you going to stay and help me? It's like, no. And just the old man, just too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Master Roshi. Um, yeah, I, I got nothing else on Dr. Stone. We'll just, we'll see how he beats him. Um, the only thing maybe else is like, where's his two other buddies at? Where's his best friend and the girl? I thought they were with him to spy on him. I thought so too, but why would he use the other guy to spy on him? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited for the next week episode. All right. Well, last song that we're gonna talk about for tonight is Dun 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 Vinland Saga. What do you think of these last couple episodes in Vinland Saga? I think the last one I talked about was the really dark episode. Where um, they uh, slaughtered that whole village. That was the oh, last yeah. episode I talked about. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. Yeah, dude, that was uh, pretty brutal. I'm glad they didn't show like, like really in depth, but it was pretty brutal. I mean, they, they, I, I feel like that episode was just to show like how brutal the Danes are. I think that was like the whole lesson of that episode. Unless they're going to use more of that Christian girl, but I don't think so. I don't, I don't. I, I don't know. what. I don't think. I think that whole episode was just to show how cruel they were. So I got bored and, while you are talking about uh, Seven Deadly Sins and I found this John background. <laughs> uh, when the spear went into the guy's mouth, it was fucked up. Oh yeah, dude. The 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 kills in Vinland Saga are ridiculous. Or just uh, Thor Kelp throwing a spear like almost two hundred yards away, dude. And killing four guys. He got a fucking triple kill from the mountain. No, that was that was a quadrant. That was four people. I no, I thought it was three, man. 
No, there's four. If you, I thought it was a triple. Could be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a triple. I gotta go find a video. That was that was four body. I shots. just I showed up my one buddy at work. And I was like, oh look at this. I was, I was telling him how like beasty like Thorkell is. Can we say that Thorkell is the best character in Finland right now? Yeah. I mean, I give props to Thorfinn though. I do, especially this episode. Um, but yeah, I mean, Thorkell finally caught up to. Uh, what's his name? Asklin. Asklin. He's he's like I would say he's the most interesting character. The main late main leader of uh. Or yeah, fucking, I don't know. Thorkel is so funny. He's dope. Yeah, dude, he's huge too. The height difference is real. Um, but yeah, Ask. We got him. It's four bodies, not three. Asklin is like the most interesting character, though, hands down. Because why is he going through all this trouble for the prince? We got like a like a slight flashback and like with his mom. Um, but like, why this prince is obviously really important because I'm kind of like curious where the show's going to go. Um, with his whole mom, like, oh, we're waiting for the true prince or whatever. Uh, so there's gonna be something where he tells Thorfinn about his dad. I think so. Um, I don't know. I don't read the manga or anything, so I here we're. I want to talk about that later on. Um, like what's gonna happen in this next episode. But, uh, yes, Thorkel is an absolute monster. Oh, I don't read the manga. I see you don't know either. I, I found it. It's four. It's four, guys. It's four. No, three. it's three. No, look at the picture I just sent you. Where? Yeah, on the chat. Or in your All right, let me look. look. Okay, it's four. It's four. four. That is four. I swore, like, on the subtitles it said that there oh, was three. three like, no, wait, it's four. Yeah. Uh, it's three, two, one, three. No, that's four. So I'm on with this one. Oh, uh. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, let's. Thorkel's an absolute beast. I, I didn't know like what was gonna happen. I was thinking, how's Asklin gonna get out of this? What? I did too. But then, like, what would Thorfinn do if Asklin died? What, like, what? Like, where would the show kind of go in that way? He return home, and that's it. Yeah, go home, back to the family, done. Episode. <laughs> um, no, I have a feeling that Thorfinn, when he finally beats Asklin, I think Asklin's going to say, like, promise he needs to, like, protect this prince. I don't know why. There might be, like, a really important reason why, but I think Thorfinn and this prince are going to, like, kind of collide together. Um, because well, I was thinking... kind of did when, you know, he killed Ragnar. Yeah, but I'm thinking about it, like, think about his family. His family's all the way back in, like, what, Iceland? Well, his family doesn't care about him. His dad was actually sending him to the battlefield to die. Yeah. The king of the Danes. Yeah. He's, he's a weakling, and he wants the older brother to be the king, but people are, you know, clashing. No, 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 I'm talking about Thorfinn. Oh. I'm talking about Thorfinn's family. I don't, they haven't brought them back up because I thought they had to pay doom to that one other dude for buying that slave. Well, I think Thorfinn's last guy that he's going to go up against is the one that is like the leader of, or not the leader, but like the number one soldier for the Danes. The guy that wanted Thor dead. Oh, Loki? Is that his name? Yeah, that's that Loki. Loki? The, the like blonde spiky here that was talking to Thor. Yeah, at the very beginning, he he ordered the call yeah. to kill his dad. It's either Loki or Floki. It's one of those. Yeah, he will be the last guy Thorfinn fights. I bet. I don't think Asklin is the last one because Asklin's gonna tell him like who made the call, and then I think Thorfinn's gonna be pissed off and he's gonna go after him because I just don't see Asklin and I feel like Asklin's gonna ask him to help the prince out. To like end like the war in general. Just mad theorying here. I could be completely wrong, but I'm just it's just my idea. Because there's gotta be a reason why he's so important, and I imagine Thorfinn's gonna eventually beat Asklin. Um, and I, at that point, I just don't think Asklin's the last. Because then the show would just be over, and I feel like this is gonna be a longer show. Because uh, it's called Vinland Saga, so I feel like they're not even at that land where Vinland is or whatever. At least the idea of it, I don't know. Um, 
but yeah, and so we can talk about what do you think is going to happen between Thorfinn, Thorfinn and Thorkel? I don't think Thorfinn uh, can win this fight. He might just take more fingers. I don't know. <sighs> no, I don't. Do you think he'll lose fingers? And Thorkel will be like. Looks like he's actually going to fight serious, and he can just flail those giant two hand axes he has, like butter knives. Thorfinn, like, Thorfinn hasn't even fought, like, much since the London Bridge. Yeah. Like, he hasn't, so he hasn't really gained, like, any experience. I just don't see Thorkel killing Thorfinn. I think, I think Thorkel will keep Thorfinn around because he sees, like, potential in Thorfinn. Like, yeah, fighting-wise. Uh, like, he wants him to grow, and then maybe they'll, like, even fight again until maybe Thorkel dies. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Thorkel becomes, like, a trainer. Secretly you know, relative or some sort of shenanigans. Or maybe, like, or, Thorfinn becomes, like, the leader, you know. Just <laughs> they, like, all, like, start their own kingdom. That'd be kind of crazy. Just the one guy and, he was and Thor he just had a heart attack. Oh, I know. When, uh... He's, he's there, like, like just tapping him on this head, just go. Uh, look like I was just too much for him. Just, just fucking died of fear. Yeah, I know. That that was hilarious. Yeah, Thor Kel's like, uh... I think this one's dead. Um. Too much room. Uh, yeah. Uh, Russell says no way in hell because Thor and Thor's fought together. In episode one. Yeah, they're they're definitely good buddies. So I think he's gonna take Thorfinn in, bring him home, and that's when the journey really starts. Yeah, it could. But the that prince though, man, I'm telling you, someone important. There's a reason why Asklin's going through all this trouble to keep him. Uh, to keep him safe. Uh, hell, he even killed the the guy that was like his bodyguard and stuff like that. Betrayed, betrayed him, and I don't know. I don't know. It, it it can go so many directions. And the thing with like Vinland Saga too is like, to me, there's like no one really safe. I, I really like anyone could die. I mean, hell, in this last episode, his whole like squad died. <laughs> like almost everybody died. Thorkel went on a, a killing spree, man. Or not in this last episode yeah, before. So said in the cons, he, that dude just played Fruit Ninja with the, the, the army. Oh, yeah, when he was going through, he was like... <laughs> slicing away. And then he uppercutted a horse, for crying out loud. Just fucking soccer. He's just he's just an absolute beast, man. And it's just funny, because all he wants to do is fight. I like when he was like running down the hill. I was like, are they fighting with each other? And he's like, wait, wait, I want to join it. And he's right. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. He's like a giant kid. He gets excited when he sees a battle. He just has to run in. He doesn't I, care who he's killing. He just wants to kill. Yeah. And the thing that I think Asklin, like, knew about this. Like, he was, you know, he's just a smart dude. He knows how to read people. So I, I yeah. think he they, this, he's seen the situation coming. So he's like, oh, I'm going to fight to the death. And hopefully Thorkel gets here. Because I know Thorkel probably won't kill me because I'm a true fighter. And Thorkel hates anybody that's not a true fighter. So, yeah. I, I, he just knew his own way that he 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 he's smart. The uh, orange to stop. Yeah, he's, he, he, well, ask, I think he just calculated. I think he, he's a super smart guy. He knows how to read people. He knew he was losing his crew, so he's like, okay, I imagine he came up with this idea, which you kind of seen that he in his mind he was waiting for Thorkel, which he had a ridiculous point part, though, too. When he got, like, mad, he was like, oh, I should control my temper when he sliced that guy in half and went through his helmet. Yeah, and they're and like, they're like uh, I can't even get my axe through this helmet. <laughs> he sliced, I was like, holy shit. But, yeah, very cool. His sword is pretty badass, too. Um, like but yeah, it's not, a, it's not a dang weapon. Yeah, but I like when Thorfinn comes in though. He's like, "You better not kill him. He's my catch." He's my prey. <laughs> just and then I like ask him. He's like, "Man, this guy's crazy. Like, it's a mouse versus a bear." <laughs> but yeah, I don't think. Can you th do you think Thorkel will take some fingers and be like, "Ah, we're equal." I think they'll have a good fight, and like he'll actually get some hits on. Uh, Thorfinn, I don't. Oh yeah, Thorcat will definitely. I don't think because he, he he likes the little like sparring matches as he would like to call them. Against yeah, Thorfinn. 
Well, and he likes his dad. Like, his, him and his dad were buddies back in the day. And Thor... I would have loved, loved to see Thor Cal versus Thor. That would have been an insane fight. Um, I, I think Thor is probably better than Thor Cal. I feel like he was like the number one fighter. He like 30 guys with like his bare hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't kill one person on that on those boats. Um, but yeah, I mean, Thorfinn's eventually going to get there. I mean, because he's the descendant of Thor, so... Maybe that's what Thorkel wants. Like he wants to train Thorfinn so he gets as good as his dad, so he can have like a real match. Maybe that maybe that's what Thorkel's gonna do. That would make sense. Because Thorkel would be like, ooh, Thorfinn is like he's very ambitious. <laughs> and he's and his uh his father's Thor, so and he's the best fighter. Cause I didn't Thorkel say something like Thor was like the best fighter that he's ever seen, or something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He so just, he got to the point where he was just bored of killing people because it was too easy to him. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just crazy that Thor Cal can like he's like taking out armies of people. Like he well, took out the whole freaking bridge. He was uh, helping London and just threw a giant fucking rock at the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's just crazy, man. Vinland Saga has been really good, and it's getting... Anime of the Year is getting much, much harder for me to pick. My, my just, You told me to watch it, and I just like, eh. After watching it now, it's just like, I love this show too damn much now. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I thought maybe Aslan could die. I was like, oh, shit, this show's going to like really change. I mean, he's got, like, what, four arrows into him, and his arm sliced arm, up. Like, two in his thigh and then one in his other yeah, leg. Yeah, that's, cool. that's quite a bit of a... It's a, it's a few arrows yeah, there. Just put some salt have it. Just take a salt have it. Yeah, just uh, get Senku over there, throw some... Uh, whatever some salt on him. Yeah, just fucking throw it on me. Ah, you'll be better tomorrow. You'll be better. <laughs> sensu bean. Yeah, I need sensu bean. Uh, but yeah, it's just crazy. I just If you haven't like, watched Villain Saga, I like, highly recommend it. It is great. Like, even Rizzle, Rizzle, uh, on his Twitter tale, uh, he was talking about Demon Slayer, and I was like, dude, you see that Vinland Saga episode? And then he, Rizzle's like, yeah, Vinland Saga is better than Demon Slayer. So I was like, yeah, I agree. So, Demon Slayer is still good, don't get me wrong, but I think Vinland Saga is just, I don't know, this is more to, like, Vinland. Like, I, I feel more connected with the characters, and I don't know, it's just, it's just intense, because you just don't know what's exactly going to happen. So, I don't know. This is really cool. Fucking gory show, though, man. It's a gory show. They don't uh, hold back on that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for our show, man. Unless you have anything else about Vinland Saga you want to say. Uh, I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah, we're going to have the 1v1 showdown. I'm just going to say I don't, Thor I don't think Thorkel kills them. Um, Thorfinn won't, won't win. There's just no way. Thorfinn's not ready. Well, it's two daggers versus two, you know, uh, you know, two-handed axes. Dude, the guy's eight foot and he's a kid. <laughs> like, it ain't gonna happen, man. Uh, uh just this no way, man. No way. Not yet, at least. I think it, maybe later on. Do you think? Well, okay, one more question for you. Do you think uh, there will be a time skip again? Uh, maybe. Like an older Thorfinn. That's like L Luffy beating Blackbeard in episode 17. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, hey, we did have a question, though, on our Discord, which I have to... We have to do this before we end the podcast. Oh, where did I put it? Uh, I think it's up here. Uh... Oh, podcast questions. Here we go. Uh, we did have a question from Snowman here, though. Um, I think that's it for Vinland. We'll do this question, and we'll end the, the podcast here. Um, if you... Okay, so this is Snowman. Uh, great guy in our Discord here. He said, if you could kill off any main protagonist, who would it be and why? You got anyone in mind, uh, Box? Uh, there's, like, probably a few people. Huh? 
It, it comes down to like a few people. All right, name one at least. Uh, you go first, cause I'm still thinking. Um. Hmm. I the main huh protagonist. Who would I kill off as the main protagonist? Hmm. The main protagonist or was it? Main so it's probably like I, I'm trying to think of like a main character that I just don't care about that we just kill off. Who do I yeah, not? The main character. Yeah, it's the main protagonist. So who would you kill as one of the main protagonists? The one blonde-haired guy from Attack on Titan. Arminen? To me, yeah, Armin to me just seemed like a fucking nuisance character. What? You're crazy. Yeah, I am, but that's who I would eliminate Armin from Attack on Titan. You kill Armin. Why? Why? What's the reason why? I just don't care for him. And he was just a big cryberry for like about the entire first two seasons of the show. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Crazy. I like I like Armin. I mean, I'm not like huge on Armin, but I do like him. Um, my choice, but I don't know if that's so technically. A he's not main, but he's like a main character. I I guess yeah. you can. It's like main character, so he is technically he's like the top three, so I guess you could count it. Yeah. Um man, who would I go? I have one of the main characters that I could just kill off. I mean, does Sanji count? No, I'm <laughs> wow. Whoa, whoa. I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um uh, Fuck, dude. I'm trying to like think of A character that I, that I not that's huge that's on. Why I had it like I went brain dead because it's hard to figure out like who you'd want to eliminate. Oh, that was a great question. I I feel like I could find if I could think of an anime and like oh yeah I didn't like this character at all, but I'm having a hard time right now thinking of somebody. I mean, I, I... Just oh I know who if, if if we're doing top three I know who for sure. It is easy. Sakura. <laughs> yeah. For sure, man. All right. I'm sorry, but I do not care for Sakura at all. I do not care at all for Sakura. All right. Biggest crybaby. Most disappointed character ever. Fuck her with the telephone ball. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Seriously though, I I do not like Sakura at all. I don't. I fought Sasori and just like I punched him. That's the end of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you cheering? I did something. <laughs> it sucks though, cause Sakura could have been such a badass character, but they didn't do anything with her. Yeah, I know she has like one moment, but still, out of like a seven hundred episode anime, I just oh, where she actually used be useful for yes during the war with the how even hundred healing palms due to. Yes, it's just oh. just, oh, her healing, you know, sign thing in her head awakened, and she's just using the massive, like, slug healing you to just, like, you did something, yay! Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh, so, yeah, Sakura would easily be that one, and that's why. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't. 700 episode anime doesn't do nothing. <laughs> I did see she had kind of a cool fight in Boruto. I don't know what the hell's going on. I haven't watched Boruto at all. But it still doesn't make up anything. It just... It, it shouldn't take that long for a top three character to like do something. Talk about main top three. So, yeah. Sakura, for sure. If Snowman wanted us to do like that absolute like main main, that would be a different story. I'd have to think of uh, that one. So, um, But yeah. So that that's our uh, that's our choices. Um, I think Rizzle even agrees with the Sakura one. So <laughs> box pick the uh, Armin in. So all right, there we go. We got that one. So keep uh, if you guys want to post questions, it's in our Discord. Um, this uh, it's under the anime chat uh, podcast questions. We will answer them probably at the. I think we're just gonna make it like at the end of the show. 
we'll yeah, just do it. Much than just randomly talk about something and then try to do a question. Yeah, we'll do like random questions at the end. So uh, this is something we're figuring out, trying to get more into it. So uh, I'll probably message Snowman that we did answer this question if he wants to listen to it. It's on this episode. Um, but yeah, the only thing else that I have for you guys is uh, what is it called? It's called like I'm probably gonna butcher it, so I apologize. It's like Izeki or something like that. Let me see. Izeki. What? No. No, it's the anime. Okay, so it's like a what is it called? Um, is it like a what's the Attack on Titan, but the funny version? What kind of anime? The they're like a little you know, like Ruby has one too. Oh, the Chibi. Chibi. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so there's an anime that is like that, but it's with um, it's with Re Zero. Overlord characters, Kamasuba, and I don't. Chibi, what the fuck? No, I couldn't think of the word. I just couldn't think of the style of it. Oh. I knew it started with the C. I just didn't know like what it was called. I was like, wait a minute, what is it called? It's just Chibi, where everything is like cutie and like yeah, big-headed things. Yeah, it's really silly. But anyways, there's an anime. It starts with an I. It's like Iziki Quad. Or, I don't know something like that. I watched a few episodes of that like a while ago. It's really funny. I I kind of recommend it. If you watch like the other animes, if you've watched Overlord, ReZero, uh, Kanasuba, and the other one is the German one, which I've only like watched one episode of it. It's the, I don't know, like a guy that goes into like, uh, I think a German girl's body, whatever, she's like crazy or something. I don't know, there's something like that. Oh, Tiny Tina. Yeah, that one. So there's that four, but the next season, they're coming out with a season two, right? And season two is going to have uh, Rise of the Shield Hero join them. So they're going to have those characters in there too, so... It's very funny, very comedy uh, relief in that one. So they're like in a classroom, pretty much, and they're they're all they're like all classmates, and it's just ridiculous. It's it's really funny if, if you watch the shows because you'll get a lot of the jokes because they reference. I mean, they act like they do in their own shows, but just mixed with these other shows, and it's really funny. So just so you guys know, I just seen that today on like Twitter, I think. Um, but yeah, also uh, One Piece Stampede made over a million dollars. Uh, can you imagine if they showed more than like one night of showings? Um, could probably make a lot more. Is that like a? Is that the latest movie? Yeah, it's the newest movie. It's on theaters right now. Um, I f- totally forgot the tweet, man. <laughs> it's to go see it. Uh, I know I'd love to, but I think I'd have to go drive three hours to go see it. Worth the drive. I don't know. I heard it's really good, so I really do want to watch it. Last time we went to go see a movie, we had to go all the way down to, like, Milwaukee or something. Yeah. It's supposed to be the guy that's from, like, Goldie Rogers' ship. It's, like, a pirate festival, and there's, like, a bunch of, a lot of, like, like, laws in there, kids in there. I saw X Drake. Yeah, X Drake's in there. There's a lot, there's a lot of people in there. So I'm like, ah, man, I'd like to see it. And the guy, I guess, is from, like, Goldie Rogers' ship, and they got to fight him. He's, like, the last guy they fight in that movie. So I really would like to see it. If they, if they played in my theater, I would easily go to see it, but uh, nope, no luck just for me. Just stay in there all day, just buy snacks and just go back in. Yeah, I would love, 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 love to go see it and support it. I wish they would. I mean, it freaking made over a million dollars. It's crazy for barely, like, showing it at all. So, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, Want to say goodbye, Box? Goodbye, Bucks. Aha. See, good job. Good job. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week. Should get a new My Hero episode and hopefully a One Piece episode uh, for next week. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited for next week. So, uh, you can follow me here on twitch.tv slash oldish22 or you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or you can join our Discord. Um, but yeah, I'll be here playing some video games and chilling. If you guys ever want to come into my chat and talk about anime, I'm always down. Love talking about it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if uh, any of you guys want to be on the podcast, just hit me up. I'm always down to add more people to BS about anime. So we've gotten a few. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to join, just hit me up. And yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. I'm like overthinking things, but that's all I got. So, 
I'm going to hit the BRB screen. That means that'll be the end of the podcast. And then I'm going to switch my titles and everything. And I'm going to use the bathroom and probably maybe grab a candy. And I'm going to play a little bit of POE. So I'll see you guys later. And yeah. Bye, everyone. See you next week. Adios.